So every power train has been developed to exceed the new 2018 wheel driving emissions regulations. And most significantly, Ford is the first and the only manufacturer to offer a three cylinder engine with valve displacement or cylinder deactivation. And that is available on both of our three cylinder engines. So there's a nice little video on the right hand side. So at engine speeds between 1250 and 4500 RPM, there's a special algorithm in the engine management computer, and that calculates whether the engine runs with less fuel on two cylinders compared to three. If it's the case that it's more efficient to run two cylinders, it shuts off um, cylinder one by deactivating the opening of the intake and the exhaust valves. By that, you reduce the pumping losses um, and significantly improve fuel economy and CO2 in a light load uh, driving. So the changeover is controlled by um, an electric solenoid valve, which you see on the, on the right hand side of, of that picture. Um, that routes oil to a special latch inside the camshaft follower and either forcing it to follow the camshaft or to move freely, allowing the valve to stay closed. And that same actuator, that same solenoid, actuates both sides, intake and, and um, exhaust. So both Eco Boost Resident engines also feature a new radial axle turbocharger. And the big advantage of that turbocharger is it's an improved geometry inside of the turbocharger which allows a more effective flow to the turbine. That, on the other side, allows you to make turbine wheels smaller, reduce the inertia of the turbine wheel, and that results in a much faster response. So you have a, a faster response and it also improves your low end torque. The upgraded 1 liter EcoBoost will be available in three power versions, 85, 100 and 125 PS. And it features a completely new cylinder head with, um, with low friction roll of finger follower valve train. Um, the new combustion chamber layout features an all new uh, injection system which offers now 250 bar versus 150 bar on the outgoing model. And something which we are really proud of is a new rapid light of catalyst system which improves uh, the emissions and minimizes the CO2 impact because it's heating up much faster. And this is coupled with, an all, <coughs> with a new gasoline particulate filter, again available for both three cylinder EcoBoost engines. And that particulate filter reduces uh, the particulate emission by over 90%. The 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine is completely new and it's launching first in the new Fiesta ST. So, three cylinder layout reduces weight, it's an all aluminum uh, engine. Uh, reduces the friction and 500 cc per cylinder are seen basically in the moment as the, the optimum uh, displacement for efficiency. So we have two versions of that engine in focus. Um, one has a peak power of 182 PS and an overboost torque of 270 Newton meter which matches basically the four cylinder uh, engine of the outgoing model and we have also 150 PS version of that engine available. As I mentioned before, it's an all alloy design, maximizing the weight saving uh, on the larger displacement engine. The base engine is, is exactly the same on the Fiesta ST, but it's not exactly the same because the requirements on our car are slightly different. So we have a, slight, we have a higher compression ratio compared to the Fiesta. We also have a slightly different tool turbocharger to improve low end torque and rather than peak performance, what you want on an ST. Now, let's move on to our, our diesel engines. Our new Eco Blue diesel uh, come as a 1.5 liter with 95 PS and also with 120 PS and a 2 liter with 150 PS. Both of them use the latest high pressure common rail technology to tune the injection parameters for the best emissions, fuel economy and NBH. Rail pressures are up to 2,000 bar on the 1.5 liter engine and 2,200 bar on the, on the 2 liter. 
Both of them feature a variable displacement oil pump uh, and water to air intercooler, which allows better control of the charge air than with an air to air intercooler. Also, both diesel engines have a high and a low pressure EGR. Uh, and <clears throat> That, that allows us to basically use EGR over a wider operating range, reducing NOx emissions. The 2 liter in, uh, introduces um, a new technology to reduce NOx and also uses, uh, for the first time in a Ford engine, a steel piston. The use of a steel piston allows us to make the piston somewhat shorter and also the thermal expansion of a steel piston is smaller. Both of those measures help us to reduce internal friction. The engine also features uh, a crankshaft with a 10 mm offset, which significantly reduces side friction on the pistons, always an area where we have seen high friction losses. Cylinder head has a completely different porting concept, which ensures that uh, a more uniform mixing of the fuel and air to allow better control of the burn, and then consequent improvements in fuel economy. Our all new family of next generation intelligent 8 speed auto management solutions are controlled by the easy to use rotary gear shift dial. They feature an adaptive shift scheduling and shift quality control to assess driving styles depending on, on the driver as well as environmental information like if you are driving uphill, downhill, hard cornering that is all used to basically um, come up with an um, adaptive adjustment of, of the shift. The gear ratio and the gear spacing have been optimized to deliver improved acceleration from standstill and super smooth gear shifts under all driving conditions as well as enhanced fuel economy. As you all know, um, European Union is changing the way uh, how it publishes the fuel economy and CO2 figures later this year moving from NEDC, New European Driving Cycle, to the Worldwide Light Vehicle Testing Process Protocol, or WLTP. Because of that, um, because of the fact that the new focus is being certified under the new system, it is very difficult for us to provide comparison figures for you, which compare new focus either with competitors or the outgoing model. So, what we are using today is our internal data, and that is our internal data developed through real-world drivings, aligned and, and, and correlated with, with tests on, on the dyno. But our data suggests that all of our cars are, in average, 10% better than the outgoing models. Data is still to be finalized, but we'll give you a first outlook on some of the anticipated CO2 numbers. So, the one liter Eco Boost manual is expected to be at 108 grams CO2, that's four or five door. The 1.5 liter Eco Boost at 120 grams. The 1.5 liter Eco Blue is anticipated to be at 94 grams. And the two liter Eco Blue at 110. So, as you can see, having an all new architecture has allowed us. Uh, to get the underpinnings right in terms of package, structure, and fuel economy. These are um, all areas our customers benefit from, but they are only part of the technical story of the all focus. Story is also about how the car supports and takes care of whatever the driving conditions are and how engaging and fun to drive it is. And <coughs> We've taken care with this car. <clears throat> We've taken this car to new levels in all of these areas, and this is the point where I hand over to Glenn, and Glenn will take you through the second part. Thank you very much.